Captain. Russian whiskey. What's your name, Chanko? Chirpov? Ensign Chekhov, Pavel Andreevich, sir. Fine. Chekhov, Pavel Andreevich. Begin shipwide mission broadcast. Yes, sir. Happy to. Ensign authorization code 95, Victor Victor 2. Authorization not recognized. Aye. Ensign authorization code 95, Victor Victor 2. Access granted. May I have your attention, please? At 2200 hours, telemetry detected an anomaly in the neutral zone. I can do that! I can do that! Thanks, the con! Hi, sir. Black hole's expanding. We won't reach minimum safe distance if we don't leave immediately. Move, 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 move! I can do that! I can do that! Move, 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 move! Give me manual control! I can lock on! Be more sharp! Compensating gravitational pull and... Good! Oh, I'm losing her! I'm losing her! I'm losing her! I'm losing her! No, I'm losing her. Whatever the case, we need to get aboard Nero's ship undetected. And just go in there, guns blazing, Jim. Not with 13. I'm telling you the math doesn't support Captain Cook, Captain Cook! Captain Cook, check out. What, what is it? Based on the Narada's course from Wulkin, I have projected that Nero will travel past Saturn. Like you said, we need to stay invisible to Nero or he'll destroy us. If Mr. Scott can get us to warp factor 4 and if we drop out of warp behind one of Saturn's moons, say, Titan, mm. the magnetic distortion from the planet's rings will make us invisible to Nero's sensors. From there, as long as the drill is not activated, we can beam aboard the enemy ship. Aye, that might work. Wait a minute, kid. How old are you? Seventeen, sir. Oh, oh, good. He's seventeen. Doctor. Off the scale, if my calculations are correct, they're creating a singularity that will consume the planet. They're creating a black hole at the center of Vulcan? Yes, sir. How long does the planet have? Minutes, sir. Minutes. Alert. Captain. Mr. Chekhov. We've been shadowing Mr. Scott. You are familiar with the engineering systems of your ship. Affirmative, sir. Good. You're my new chief. Go put on a red shirt. Hi, Captain. Scott, how are we looking down there? All systems nominal, Captain. Copy that. Warp available at your command. Thank you, Mr. Chekhov. All right, let's run. Mr. Chekhov, can we warp? Sir, if we go to warp, we run the risk of seriously damaging the core. Can we do it? Uh, technically, yes, but I would not advise it, Captain. Noted. I've got you, Captain! Check up! Don't let go! Even if we get the war car online, we still gotta redirect the power! He's right, Captain! What are you talking about? Someone has to hit the manual override. Uh, laddie, there's a switch! It's behind the deflector dish! I'll flip the switch! Let's go! Captain, we are caught in the planet's gravity. We cannot pull away. Scotch was actually invented by a little old lady in Russia? <laughs> huh? Nothing.